All right, so uh, this guy is uh, massive and hollow, and like we discussed, he will slide right over top of a 55-gallon drum. Uh, but I wanted to show you for shipping, um, these guys come off. And I made them separate, and I did not glue them down for a couple reasons. One, I figured you guys would put them through. They pressure fit. They stay on pretty tight. Um, but I would just put a big zip tie through this on the back side is what I would do. Um, because you want them to have a little bit of motion and dangle. And since it's not together right now, see, I'm just, I got a hand inside and just pull it and it just goes naturally to the right position. I would just put a big zip tie through there and that way it's on. But if you ever want to animate it down the road, like this is actually thick enough to uh, attach an actuator to, and you guys could animate the mandibles separately if you wish. But they both, there's a hole, they slide in, and they go in at a little bit of an angle down. And the hole is only cut where they go, so it's not like you can misalign it. Okay, there we go. Now we have big insect mandibles. So, there you are. It will come to you like this. All right, enjoy your bug.